All right, we're live. Introduce yourself. Uh, hey, I'm Zach. Zach from Thermo. We got some. We're talking about this question here, where you got water and a refrigerant on the right. We're trying to figure out the force on the piston. So my question is, uh, basically, we know that when water's at 100 degrees Celsius, if it's a two-phase system, then it should be boiling, basically. Um, but my question is, is you, you give us the quality, so is that suggestive that there's going to be a different pressure than what would be atmospheric inside the, the water side? So my question for you, if we think about this PV diagram, where are we on a PV diagram? Well, well let's do a TV diagram. So there's a um, TV diagram. And let's do, uh, we'll do, let's, how about R134A? Where is that located on this diagram? Um, it's way different because if you look up the temperature, like if you look up the pressure for R134A, mm -hmm. the pressure is like 4,000 kilopascals. Okay, some huge, huge pressure. Huge pressure. And how did you find that pressure? Just looking in the, the tables in the back of the book. You look, okay, okay, there's a bunch of tables. Which ones did you use? So for the water, I just used common sense, but then also um, the saturated water one because there is water in the system. So I'm not sure what page it's on. So you're looking at the saturated vapor table. Why did you choose that one? Um, because there's vapor and there's water in the system. I chose the saturated water one, this one. Okay, okay. So let's do, we'll do saturated water. We'll be, instead of R134A, let's do water. We're, we're in here. Where, on the TV diagram, where are you located? Um, well, whatever value, if wherever this is 100. Okay, so we're at 100 C there. Yeah, which How about, I would say is in underneath the curve because it's in the phase diagram. Okay, so you, okay, so you, you're saying we're somewhere under the two phase envelope. Yes. Okay, how did you know that? Because there's, it's suggested because you give us the quality. So you give us a quality of 0.98, okay. so it's 98% vapor. Okay. Um, so most of that's vapor, but there's still water in the system. So, I mean, there'll be a little bit, but it's also suggestive that we're somewhere in here. Okay, somewhere in the two-phase envelope. Yes. So we're going to be, am I right there on the left, or am I well, the one on the right? I'd say you're on the right. The one on the right. Okay, okay. Yep, yep, yep. Sure, sure, sure. Quality of 100% would be on the right. Exactly. Yeah. Envelope. So, okay, so we're right there for water. How I gave you the quality. What would happen if the quality, instead of being 98%, was something like 50%? I don't think it would really change because you still have, you're still at 100 degrees and you're still two-phased. It would suggest that you have more water than you do um, just liquid water, but... It would still, it moved it to the left, it moved the dot to the left. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It wouldn't suggest anything different temperature or um, phase wise because it's still two phase. Okay, sure, sure. So if I drew, in this case, if I drew the, an isobar here, Correct. if we moved, if the quality was 50%, exactly. that pressure on the red line everywhere is the same. Yep. Okay, cool, cool. All right, so we don't need to know the quality, we just need to know that it's in the two phase envelope. Right. And then. Presumably, we do something similar for R134A, and I see you're looking. You're looking through now. You're at the saturated water table for, or the saturated table for water. Mm -hmm. What do you find for a pressure? So, um, on page one, or on page nine fourteen, um, if the temperature is a hundred degrees, which we're given, mm -hmm. um, I'm given a, a pressure of one hundred one point four two kilopascals. Okay, so the vapor pressure in the water is about, okay, about 101. Okay, I'm with right. you. Yep, and then I do the same thing for the, the R134A, uh -huh. um, and I go to the temperature on page 927, um, find the 100 degree Celsius temperature okay. with a pressure of 3,975.1 kilopascals. Okay, so the vapor pressure for the refrigerant is much greater. Yeah, much, much, much greater. Okay, okay, sure, sure, sure. Um, what direction do you think you need to push on the piston to hold it in place? Well, if there's a bunch of pressure coming from the R134A side, uh -huh. um, and then there's a significant less amount on the left side coming from the water, I'd say that you need to have a big force pushing on the piston, moving it to the right to keep everything static. Okay, sure. So we've got these long pressure arrows yeah. here, smaller ones on the right. Yeah. So it sounds like you'd need a long yeah, exactly. yeah, force to balance on that. Cool. So then would you just take the pressure you're given and divide that by the area to find out your force coming from either side and then just subtract that to get your resultant force that you need to push on the piston? Okay, something like force is equal to pressure over area. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we could look at that. Um, if I looked at the pressure, pressure, for example, is newtons per square meter, area is square meters. Right. What we're 
left with is newtons over meters to the fourth. So the units on that equation wouldn't work. Uh, so then it'd just be pressure times area. Okay, sure, sure, sure. Okay, sure, we can do force is equal to pressure times the area. Cool. Okay, so we get the pressure on the left and the right. Did right. I give you, I gave you the area of the thing, so. And then we find the pressure just in the tables. Yeah, 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 yeah. With knowledge that we're in the two-phase region for both substances. Right. Yeah. Okay. And then you just calculate the force from the R134A and then calculate the force from the water and then subtract that and then that resultant force is the force that you need to have pushing on the piston. Yeah, that's right. right. Yep, 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 yep. All right. Cool. Sweet.